So now let us take a question and answer. DIP. The topic today is image segmentation. What is segmentation? Segmentation uh, has come from segments. Segments. So segmentation means you are trying to divide or categorize your image into different segments. The process is segmentation. Segmentation is the process of partitioning an image into its constitution or constituting regions or object based on certain criteria. This criteria is important. Image segmentation algorithms are based on either discontinuity principle or similarity people. So this principle actually segmentation can be done with two things in mind. The discontinuity between the regions or the similarity between the regions. There can be dissimilarity or there can be similarity. You can combine them or you can divide them. Write the application of segmentation. Segmentation is used to uh, detect or detection of isolated points can be done. You can detect the lines, edges in an image. This is also a segmentation. So what are the three types of discontinuity in digital image? Point, lines, edges. These are the kind of discontinuity you will find in a digital image. How the derivatives are obtained in edge detection during formulation? Uh, the first derivative at any point in an image is obtained by using the magnitude of the gradient at that point. First derivative. Then comes the second derivative. The second derivative is obtained by using the Laplacian. First derivative by the magnitude of the gradient, that is the slope. Uh, the magnitude of the slope and second derivative by using the Laplacian. Write about uh, or tell about linking edge points. The approach of linking edge points is to analyze the characteristics of pixels in a small neighborhood, say 3 by 3 or 5 by 5, about any point x, y in an image that has undergone edge detection. So all points that are similar, they are linked, forming a continuous boundary of pixels that share some common properties. What are the two properties used for establishing similarity of edge pixels? The two properties used for establishing similarity of edge pixels are first the strength of response of the gradient operator used to produce the edge pixel and the direction of the gradient. The strength of the response, you can say the magnitude and the direction of the gradient. What is an edge? What do we mean when we say edge in digital image processing? The edge is a set of connected pixels that lie on the boundary between two regions. This is one region, this is two region, second region. So this, this is an edge, which is a connected pixels, set of connected pixels, which lie in the boundary between two regions. They are more closely modeled as having the ramp-like profile. So you will find this point is having a ramp-like profile. So the slope of the ramp is inversely proportional to the degree of blurring in the image. Give the properties of second derivative around an edge, second derivative, which we thought to do by the Laplacian. The sign of the second derivative can be used to determine whether an edge pixel lies on the dark side or the light side of an edge. Second derivative sign can be used for these two. And it produces two values for every edge in an image. It produces two values for every edge in an image. An imaginary straight line joining the extreme positive and negative values of the second derivative would cross zero near the midpoint of the edge. These are the properties of second derivative. Define the gradient operator. What is a gradient operator? First order derivative of a digital image are based on various approximation of the 2D gradient. So the gradient of an image fxy at say location xy can be defined as the vector magnitude of the vector which is delta f. The magnitude of this of delta f this is the gradient is given by gx square plus gy square. What is meant by object point and background point? And object point and the background point. So the object point and background point to execute the objects uh, or to, to um, you know delineate the objects from the background is to we can select a threshold that satisfy certain mode these modes in any point x y for which this f x y is greater than t is called the object point with this with respect to this threshold else the points a point is called as a background point what is a global threshold when say, some threshold t depends only on the image f x y, then the threshold is called as global. Define region growing. 
Region growing is a procedure that group pixels or subregion into layers region based on predefined criteria. So if we start with say three pixel or one pixel, then we add more pixel, then we add more pixel. So this is a kind of region growing. So the basic approach is to start with the set of seed points, say one point or two points, and then from there grow regions like this by appending each seed points with their neighboring pixels that have properties which are similar to the seed points. Specify the steps involved in splitting and merging. Splitting means like this. Merging means combining. Splitting is uh, decomposing. So split into we can uh, see four design coordinates in a region R for which say some value is false and you merge adjacent region for which some value is uh, RJ union RK is true and stop and no further merging or splitting is positive. So actually this, these are the steps. What is local threshold? If threshold T depends both on FXY and PXY, this is called local. As we saw that the threshold is only which is depending on the image. But here we have uh, the other value also in the local threshold. What is the dynamic and adaptive threshold? If threshold T depends on the spatial coordinates XY, the threshold is called as dynamic or adaptive where FXY is the original image. How edges are linked through Huff transform? You might have heard about KL transform, Conolo. So the edge or edges are linked through Huff transform by using intersecting of two lines equation. The state line y is equal to mx plus b. This is in spatial coordinate. So we can uh, deduce or find the polar coordinates, which this line can be represented in the form of polar coordinates. Rho is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta, where this rho and theta, they are the coordinates of, in the parameter space. So the half transform of a straight line in the xy space is a single point in rho, rho theta space. State the problems in region splitting and merging based image segmentation. First is uh, initial seed points, that is different set of initial seed points cause different segmented results. There is no, uh, there is not a single result which can be formulated. If you choose different seed points, result, results will be different. This is time consuming. Now this method is not uh, suitable for color images and they produce the fall or false color sometimes. Region growth may stop at any time when no more pixels satisfies the criteria. What are the factors affecting the accuracy of region growing? The factors which affect the accuracy of region growing are lighting variations, pixels, uh, intensity value, right Sobel horizontal and vertical edge detection mask. This is the Sobel horizontal. If you see in these two, the difference in horizontal and vertical is minus is here, minus sign, and in this vertical, minus sign is here. And if you combine both of them, the result will be zero. If you add the values here, it will be zero. So this is the Sobel horizontal and vertical edge detection mask. Define region splitting and merging. Region splitting and merging is a segmentation process in, uh, in which an image is initially subdivided into a set of arbitrary disjoint regions. And then the regions are merged or splitted with certain predefined conditions of, to satisfy the conditions which we have not adopted. So this was about segmentation. We will take a bit compression in the next session. Thank you so much.